All right, we're down in South Texas doing some free range nail guy hunting. Um, for the first couple days, we did stand hunts, and all we really saw was cows. Um, they came to the, the hay pretty well, but all we really saw was cows throughout that time period, so we started to do some stalking. And here we got on a couple nice bulls that were basically just walking across a big, um, big cow pasture here, and we were able to get some good footage of them, but they were not what we were looking for. After this, we hid out in the bushes for a while just to see if we could get one to come past us, and one actually did. He was a really big bull, and he was really close to us, but we just still thought we could probably do a little bit better as far as size on the nil guy. We spotted a couple cows grazing in a big field about middle of the day and then we moved over to what they what they call big salt lakes. The, the lakes are dried up so it's just a big salt flat basically and a lot of animals travel through those big open areas. We saw two younger bulls you know kind of right off the bat um, and then a big bull that we would really like to um, harvest came out. The problem was this bull was really far away and you'll see in a second he actually walks right across the property line to someone else's property so we had to just watch him walk on across the salt flat. Next we saw a nice bobcat uh, right in the middle of the wide open out there crossing the salt flat and Cobra really wanted to shoot it but he took there way too on. long to do so. Up too late now, he ain't gonna stop running. And he gone. Oh. The other way gone. Later in the evening, we ended up going right back to where we first saw the, those couple cows earlier in the day grazing in a big open field. And what was going on is the, they had more cows had joined up with them, and also some bulls were kind of fighting it out, uh, trying to get with the herd of cows and that kind of thing. But they were in the middle of the field, which was kind of like a dip in the field, and there wasn't really any, you know, anything I could lean against to shoot from or anything. So I was trying to use my sticks, and you just couldn't really get over there to where you could see them through the scope. So I had to basically belly crawl across, you know a pretty big area there to where I could get a better shot on them and there was a not really nice bull right out in the middle.
Due to the angle of the camera, it makes my follow-up shots look pretty bad, but the second one actually went through his legs. Hey folks out here in Texas doing some free range Neil guy hunting. This is a uh, exotic animal originally from the jungles of uh, India. Now it is in the <clears throat> arid country of South Texas. Originally they all came from the uh, King Ranch. Very high populations of them all around here. But this right here <clears throat> is a huge bull. Really nice bull today. I've been hunting for a few days. Um, had a lot, a lot of a lot of different things happen. Tried night day, stuff like that. Um, seen quite a few bulls and passed on them. We were finally able to get a, a good bull like this. And I even had to basically crawl a good ways just so I could get a shot on it because it was kind of in like a dip of the uh, field out here, but uh, it worked out perfectly. Um, <clears throat> COVID's been helping me out. We've walked miles and miles today, I'm yeah. sure. We have been through uh, quite a bit, but uh, in the end it worked out. And this is an um, awesome bull. I just thank God to be able to be out here doing it.